two Catholics poles apart on a woman's right to choose. To speak of a woman's right to choose prompts other questions about rights. What of the rights of unborn children? Or do they have no rights? No real human status? Parliament will soon vote on a new law decriminalising what is now an offence in Queensland. The Deputy Premier for the Archbishop against. The journalist mentioned the eugenics of Nazi Germany and again I couldn't deny the historical fact. Well I would have thought that the Archbishop had more uh, important things to focus on uh, like the inquiry into institutional abuse and the findings that are coming out of that inquiry. The Archbishop returns serve. There's a link I can now see between abortion and child abuse. Finally, he rang the Premier, also a Catholic. This is going to be a very emotional issue for some people, but I want the debate to be respectful, not just in the parliament, but respectful in the community as well. There's no disagreement about fixing Queensland Rail. The 65 new drivers and guards are coming to the rescue, and the government's finally advertising for much-needed drivers, but only if they've already worked for Queensland Rail. We know that it's much easier to train former drivers. That's why we started there where it was easiest. More, the minister says, are coming. Straight to Shane now. And Shane, Labor's accused of trying to do deals with One Nation. Uh, that's right, Melissa. That's lighting up quite the political storm tonight. One Nation says that they were approached by the Labor Party's Evan Moorhead, the secretary of that party, to either not stand against One Nation at the state election or to run dead in exchange for their preferences. Labor denies that ever happened and the Premier says under no circumstances will there be a deal, but it's setting the stage for a fiery resumption of Parliament tomorrow, coincidentally the second anniversary of the Premier's election, Melissa.